Hello again. In this video, we will be taking a look at the EBAC 21 litre 3 series compressor dehumidifier. So what makes this dehumidifier stand out from the rest? Well, it has smart control technology, an air purification mode, and it's one of the most economical dehumidifiers available on the market today, especially considering it will work on properties of all sizes. But it's the sheer ease of use and logical controls that really make this British made dehumidifier stand out from the crowd. But before we get into any of that, let's take a look around it. With its compact size and two tone colouring, it should be pleasant to look at for most and blend in nicely in the home wherever you place it. Now let's take a look at the control panel and you'll notice that the control panel only has six buttons and a large clear LED display, making this dehumidifier very simple and one of the easiest to set up. Let's take a look at those settings now. When you first turn on this dehumidifier, you'll notice it automatically starts to run in smart mode. Smart mode is where the smart control technology comes into play. This mode constantly measures the temperature, humidity and environment around it so it switches on and off running only when required and in turn saving you money. If you press the mode button once more the dehumidifier will run on its maximum setting and this is particularly useful for tackling any initial bad problems you may have before allowing the unit to run continuously once again in smart mode. Across the other side you will find the fan button. This toggles from low to high speed like so. And whilst on the subject, let's take a listen to smart mode fan speed one and maximum mode speed two. I think you'll agree that smart mode is very quiet, in fact one of the quietest I've heard. A maximum speed 2 is louder but doesn't have an unpleasant tone. Factory rated at 46 decibels, this is just above the sound level of your average refrigerator. The timer button can be used when in maximum or laundry mode and allows you to set increments of 2, 4 or 8 hours, or to simply run continuously. Which brings me nicely to the laundry setting. This mode is great for when you have damp clothes in the house or on the air -off. Underneath you have the air purification mode and when this is set the dehumidifier stops removing water from the air and instead pulls the air through the filter extracting impurities which is great for air quality and those with allergies. Lastly, we have the standby button, which when in standby will be orange, but if the water tank needs emptying or it's not present, will indicate in red. As you've seen, the buttons and LED display are both easy to use and understand, making it one of the easiest to use dehumidifiers I've ever used. To the front of the dehumidifier, there's a door that reveals the large 2.5 litre compact water tank and with the non-spill design this can easily be removed and emptied. From a moisture extraction point of view this is rated at a maximum of 21 litres per day otherwise known as 37 pints and with the water tank holding 2.5 litres at a time for most households this will possibly mean emptying the tank twice per day once in the morning and once in the evening. With the maximum power consumption rated at an impressively low 180 watts, that makes this unit amongst the cheapest to run on the market today, especially one that's powerful enough for nearly all properties and occupancies. If we just turn the unit around for a moment, you will notice a very easy connection point for a continuous draining hose should you need that feature. The carbon filter is easily removed by sliding the casing upwards and can be cleaned gently with a vacuum and the manufacturer recommends cleaning the filter once a month and replacing it every four months for optimum performance. In terms of weight and portability, at 13 kilograms, it's not the lightest dehumidifier out there, but it's still easily lifted into place by the handle concealed behind the filter. And to be fair, with a whole house dehumidifier like this, you probably don't need to move it around although there are optional casters available if you need them. Now, because this is a compressor-based dehumidifier, it will work best in a heated home. But as long as you can heat your house above 15 degrees centigrade, a dehumidifier with this low power consumption rating should outperform most alternatives such as a desiccant. Although the manufacturer states it still remains effective as low as 10 degrees centigrade. Impressive stuff. 
Okay, so let's move on to the real world tests. And if you want to read about how I test and the environment I'm in, please visit the website link provided in the description bar below. I'm now going to run two simple tests. Test one will be a two hour run on smart mode and the results will be shown in the video. Test two will be a two hour run on maximum setting, but to save time and boredom, you can find those results on the website, links provided in the description bar, the iCards and at the end of the video. At the end of each test, any water collected will be measured and the reduction in humidity levels noted. Right, let's get started. The humidity in the lounge now has just reached 68% and the temperature is 21.7 degrees C. All we have to do now is wait two hours. Well, it's the halfway stage now, so let's take a quick peek at the progress so far. The lounge temperature has now warmed up slightly to 22.2 and the humidity is already down to 58%. And let's take this opportunity to measure the wind speed and exhaust temperature. Wind speed, as with most dehumidifiers, is stronger on one side than the other side due to the fan positioning inside the body. The wind speed averages around 9 mile an hour at very close range at the strongest point and the exhaust temperature is currently a nice 25.4 degrees C which is a few degrees warmer than the temperature of the lamp. In visual terms if I hold this tasseled scarf in front of the exhaust for a moment you can see the effect on airflow. It's a very gentle waft at close range, nothing more. OK, the full two hours is over now and as you can see the humidity is down to 54% and the temperature has warmed slightly to 22.4 degrees centigrade. Right, so let's see what we've collected. OK, so that's 370 millilitres, which is a very respectable amount for a simple two hour economy run. Well, that brings this video to an end. And if you want to see the results of test two, which was a two hour run on maximum mode, the price, to buy it or read the manual, visit the website links provided here or in the description bar. Thanks for watching.